It's been a while since we've talked about Claude, but there's just been an update and I have just become a pro member. Just a cheeky tip, if you are not in a country that allows you to pay for Claude, then you can use a VPN because Google uses your location. So if you put your v if you put VPNs of America or the United Kingdom, for example, uh, then you should be able to get access to it. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick uh, to make Claude work. Now, the reason we haven't been using Claude, if you remember, is that internal links and images are often made up and it doesn't it didn't do a very good job with images or links but that has completely changed with the latest version now i am using the best version of claude and i am paying for it now i've got a little three prompt system here so the first one is we're going to do this step by step firstly look at this file and choose five strictly relevant products to an article about black tie attire for men and then I'm just going to paste a massive, and I mean massive, it's 739 lines of just images. You can really easily do this if you're on Shopify. I'm not going to go through that in this video. But you get a list of your images and then you hit enter. So what it's going to do is it's going to read that file and it's going to go through it and it's going to, it's going to pick relevant images. Now one thing ChatGPT has a problem with is choosing relevant images. But when I just tried this before, Remember, this is black tie attire for men. I'm doing this specifically because black tie attire for men has a very specific thing. So we need smoking, we need tuxedos, we need um, bow ties, things like that. So you can see already smoking blazer. A smoking blazer, if you don't know, it's actually like it's a tuxedo. It's a tuxedo jacket, basically. Okay, so you you specifically, if you are invited to a black tie attire event you specifically need to wear a tuxedo. ChatGPT, if you do the same thing, right? I'm just going to actually do the same thing instead of just saying that this is what happens. I'm going to say choose five relevant images for an article about black tie attire for men. And then I'll give it the list. Now we'll see what happens here. It might work this time, but I've done this a lot of times with API assistance. I've done this a lot of times with this as well. So we'll see how it does now. It looks like it's actually going to do a pretty good job. No, it hasn't. So this is what I'm talking about. ChatGPT does a terrible job of doing this. All of these suits are not appropriate for black tie attire for men. Okay? Even the pants, you wouldn't want to wear blue pants to a black tie attire. You'd be laughed. If you wore any of these things to a black tie attire event, you'd be laughed at. Unless it was black tie optional. You cannot wear a normal suit. You cannot wear blue pants and you cannot wear a multicolored shirt. That's absolutely ridiculous. You have to wear a tuxedo with a white shirt and the bow tie and black trousers. You can sometimes get away with like midnight blue or burgundy or maybe not gold. I wouldn't go for gold personally, but in general, you need to wear something very specific. So you can already see the difference between the two. It's chosen... And uh, Claude has chosen specifically a belt. Perfectly fine. You can wear a belt. Uh, this is a suit, so actually this is not great. But the other three, these are smoking dress pants and they're black. This is a cotton smoking blazer. You could wear this if it was dark blue. I'm sure it is dark blue. And then a burgundy belt as well. So yeah, this is fine. You could say give me another five as well. So we'll have 10 in total, um, just because I think 10 is uh, even better. But yeah, this already shows, this is ChatGPT4, okay, remember. And it's literally given the logic here. It says, for an article about black tie tie for men, it includes tuxedos, formal jackets, dress shirts, etc. But if I actually just go on this document that I'm using, this list of all the products, and I do Control F and I search tuxedo, okay, and tuxedo, oh no, down, sorry. So there's no tuxedo. If I do smoking, you can see there's smoking, 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 smoking. There's a decent amount of results here. So, yeah, you would expect ChatGPT to do this, but, yeah, apparently not. So, let's have a look here. We've got a bathed linen shirt, not great. A couple of normal suits. You would not want to wear a t-shirt. So, yeah, these are all terrible, but the first five are fine. The first five are good. Let's move on to the next step. And then we're going to give this the second prompt. I'm going to say now choose five internal links. So you can give it different internal links. I'm using iSuit as an example just because this is what I had spare. 
But on, on Two Men, it would have been a lot easier with collections and things because I could have just given it a huge list of collections. But I just had all of the Ice Suit stuff ready because I was writing 14 articles for Ice Suit the other day. So yeah, it's chosen Kiton, Cesare Attolini, Luigi Borelli, Santoni, perfect, and Sartori Napoli. Okay, and then we're going to send the final prompt. So it says, now using all these images and internal links, write a unique, highly formatted, including titles and lists and tables, article about black tie type for men. It should be 2,000 words. Please embed relevant images in the article throughout. Now, this is the thing that Claude has always been very, very good at compared to ChatGPT as well. And, and it's not choosing the, the products and things. Actually, it was really bad at that previously. What it's really good at is writing 2,000 words. Now, a lot of people say to me that the content is too short. I personally don't think writing long content is necessary. But sometimes with a topic like black tie attire, you do need a decent amount of content because... 300 words on black tie attire might work as like a cheesy strategy, but it's not really a good long-term strategy. So we'll see what happens here. I believe that's going to then embed the image. So if I press show image, absolutely perfect. That is literally a perfect example of something that works. Pants, these are also tuxedo pants, apparently. Um, there are black, there are bow ties on um, ice suit, but this is not all of their products. So I, I've got a bit of a, pro a problem with ice suit. It's kind of hard to get all of their products into into a thing. So let's press press show here. This is an image just because um, it's got messed up because the first image on the website is the it that it doesn't exist. So instead, what it does is it just puts the ice suit logo. That's a mistake of the website, not a mistake of Claude. So what I'm thinking is, because this is dealing with this so well, maybe the play for the autoblogger is to actually change it to Claude. Now, I might just release a version of the autoblogger using Claude and see what happens and see how good it is. But generally speaking, if it can manage to crack, like this isn't 2,000 words, I wouldn't say. This is more like 1,000, it's more like 900, no, 1,200, I would say. 1,200 words. And then at the bottom here, we have in the internal links. Perfect. That's why I create blogs is to um, kind of increase the topical authority of the entire website and increase the ranking of pages like Kiton. So we can see here, this is a pretty well formatted article. It has, it's not like a wall of text or anything. There's a good amount of images in there and it's 985 words. So it's not quite 2000 words, but I could probably get it to write more words if I, if I wanted it to. Now, in terms of other features of Claude, like it, it's all pretty normal. They're, they're just kind of catching up to ChatGPT4, um, which is important that they've done that. It looks like they have one where you can recreate a website in HTML. So I'm kind of curious how, how that goes. So just because I'm curious and just because why not, I do want to see what happens if I take a picture of iSuit and I save it as uh, I see website and then I upload it to here. So desktop, I suit website. Can you give me the HTML and CSS structure to make this, uh, website, I don't know, website. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty basic to be honest with you, but it, it kind of does it. So it does say shop the sale. Is that what? Yeah, it's what it says here and latest collection. So yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to talk about this in view of SEO because you know that's kind of why I do. Okay, so I'm just having a look now. I wanted to see if I had access to the API. It seems like now that I just paid for Pro, I've got access to the API. So you guys can expect a few more videos on Claude. I'm super, super curious. It seems like it might be a little bit more intelligent than ChatGPT4 in terms of giving it large pieces of information and asking it to take information from that and then apply it to something else. I'll tell you right now, ChatGPT is really, really bad at doing that. I've prompted it into oblivion. I've made loads of coding systems but it will not 
stop choosing the, the first product in a CSV, the last product in a CSV, and the middle product in a CSV. There is no logic to it. I've tried a million different ways to prompt it. I'm getting so frustrated. I'm really glad that I saw that Anthropic had released the new version of Claude. And if I start, if I press start prompting with Claude here, I do have access to Claude 3 Opus, which is the latest version. And yeah, I think I'm going to try and make my auto blogger use Claude instead and see what happens. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're a legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.